Ever thought about how wealth is distributed around the world? How many nations still struggle with extreme poverty? Let's take a moment to ponder this. The world is a place of stark contrasts. Skyscrapers piercing the blue skies, embodying the pinnacle of wealth and prosperity, stand tall in some parts of the world. Yet in others, we find humble abodes made of mud and straw, where people struggle each day for their basic survival. This is the paradox of wealth. It is concentrated in the hands of a few, while many others languish in extreme poverty. This disparity is not a mere coincidence. It's a systemic issue deeply rooted in the global economic order. It's a paradox that is as baffling as it is concerning. While the world has seen unprecedented growth and prosperity, the fruits of this growth have not been evenly distributed. The rich continue to get richer, and the poor, unfortunately, keep getting poorer. So how do we measure this disparity, this paradox? One way is by looking at a country's gross domestic product or GDP. While it's not a perfect measure, GDP does give us a rough idea about a country's economic performance. But wealth isn't just about money, is it? It's also about the standard of living, access to healthcare, education, clean water, and other basic necessities. Imagine living in a country where the average income is less than a dollar a day, where clean water is a luxury and where education is a distant dream. Sounds unthinkable, right? Yet this is a harsh reality for many around the world. We're not here to paint a picture of despair, but to shed light on these realities, to foster understanding and perhaps inspire action. The first step towards solving a problem is recognizing that there is one. And the issue of extreme poverty, of this wealth paradox, is a problem that needs our collective attention. Now let's dive into the countdown of the top 10 poorest countries in the world. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have a land that despite its natural beauty and vibrant culture, grapples with the heavy weight of poverty. This country, like a diamond in the rough, is rich in potential, but buried under economic hardship. Its struggles are rooted in complex issues, from political instability and corruption to inadequate infrastructure and lack of quality education. A significant portion of its population lives below the poverty line, struggling daily to meet basic needs. The country's economy is highly dependent on agriculture, which is often at the mercy of unpredictable weather patterns, causing uncertainty and instability. Yet it's not all gloom and doom. The people of this country are resilient, persisting against the odds. They are hardworking, resourceful, and determined, constantly striving for a better life. They continue to hold on to hope, believing in a brighter future. Despite its challenges, this country continues to strive for better. Moving forward, at numbers 9 to 7, let's delve into the lives of the people from these parts of the world. At number 9, we find a country where the majority of the population lives on less than a dollar a day. Life is tough here, with access to basic amenities like clean water, healthcare, and education being a struggle for many. The economy is primarily agrarian, with farming being the main source of livelihood. However, unpredictable weather and poor farming techniques often lead to low productivity, keeping the people in a vicious cycle of poverty. Next, at number 8, we find a country that has been caught in the grip of internal conflicts for decades. These conflicts, coupled with frequent natural disasters, have had a devastating impact on the economy. Despite the rich natural resources, the continual unrest has deterred foreign investment and hindered development. This has resulted in a lack of job opportunities, pushing more people into poverty. Finally, at number seven, we encounter another country where widespread poverty is the norm. Here, the main challenges are political instability, poor infrastructure, and systemic corruption. These factors have crippled the economy and made it hard for the people to escape the shackles of poverty. Yet despite these challenges, the people remain hopeful and resilient, always ready to face another day. But let's not forget, these countries are more than just their poverty statistics. They are home to vibrant cultures, rich traditions, and resilient people who, despite their circumstances, continue to find joy and beauty in the simplest of things. From the rhythmic beats of their traditional music, to the colorful tapestry of their local markets, these countries offer a glimpse into a world that is rich in spirit and resilience. Their people, though faced with adversity, continue to hold on to their dreams, their hopes, and their indomitable spirit. These countries, though poor, are rich in culture and resilience. Continuing our countdown at numbers six to four, we find a trio of nations grappling with economic challenges, yet each possessing a unique cultural richness and untapped potential. Landing at number six, we find the landlocked nation of Burundi. 
This small East African country is primarily an agricultural economy, with more than 90% of the population dependent on subsistence farming. Unfortunately, frequent droughts and political instability have hindered growth and pushed many into poverty. Next, at number 5, is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Blessed with vast natural resources, including diamonds, gold, and copper, the DRC should be a prosperous nation. However, years of conflict and poor governance have left the majority of its citizens in dire poverty. Despite this, the Congolese people are known for their resilience and vibrant cultures, with music and dance playing a significant role in their lives. Finally, at number four, we have Mozambique. Despite significant improvements since the end of a devastating civil war in the 90s, Mozambique still faces significant challenges. The nation has vast coal and gas reserves, but exploitation has been slow due to inadequate infrastructure and corruption. The majority of the population relies on agriculture, which is vulnerable to weather extremes and climate change. Each of these nations, Burundi, the DRC and Mozambique, suffer from a combination of political instability, corruption and environmental challenges. These factors have contributed to their economic struggles and the plight of their citizens. However, it's crucial to remember that these are not inherent traits of these countries or their people. Instead, they are a result of complex historical, political, and environmental factors. Despite their economic conditions, these countries have much to offer the world. From the rhythmic music and dances of the DRC, to the vibrant markets of Burundi, and the breathtaking landscapes of Mozambique, these nations remind us that wealth is not solely defined by economic metrics. Each holds a richness of culture and spirit that continues to endure, regardless of their economic standing. Getting closer to the top, at number three we find a country with a rich cultural heritage, but with a dire economic situation. This nation with its charismatic people and breathtaking landscapes, unfortunately, holds the unenviable title of the third poorest country in the world. Its struggles are many and varied. Ravaged by internal conflicts and political instability, the country's development has been significantly hampered. A lack of infrastructure and basic services, coupled with a high illiteracy rate, further exacerbates the situation. Agriculture, the backbone of the economy, is heavily dependent on unpredictable weather patterns, making the nation's fortunes as fickle as the winds. The potential reasons for its poverty are complex and intertwined, ranging from a history of colonial exploitation to issues of corruption and governance. But here's the thing, the spirit of its people is unbroken. They are resilient, resourceful, and relentless in their pursuit of a better life. This country, though poor, fights every day for a better future. Almost at the top, at number two we have, a country that's a paradox in its own right, abundant in cultural wealth but marred by economic hardships. It's a land where potential is plentiful but resources are scarce. This nation grapples with a myriad of challenges that contribute to its poverty, from political instability to inadequate infrastructure to the scarcity of quality education and healthcare, the hurdles are numerous. The country's economy is primarily agrarian, with a significant portion of the population relying on subsistence farming. Unfortunately, frequent natural disasters often wreak havoc on these agricultural activities, thereby exacerbating the poverty situation. The primary reasons for its economic predicament are complex and intertwined with roots in historical injustices, years of conflict, and systemic corruption. However, despite these adversities, the resilience and determination of its people are truly commendable. Rich in spirit, this country does not let its economic status define it. And now, the poorest country in the world is a place of paradoxes, a country rich in culture and history yet financially impoverished. The citizens here face a multitude of challenges daily, from a lack of basic necessities to an economy that's been grappling with instability for decades. Struggling with a low gross domestic product, this country's poverty is further exacerbated by high unemployment rates and minimal access to quality education and healthcare. Yet it's not all dark clouds. The country's potential lies in its untapped resources and resilient population. The spirit of its people, their enduring resilience despite the odds, is a testament to the human capacity for hope and determination. The root causes of its poverty are complex and multifaceted, encompassing political instability, historical legacies and global economic factors. It's a stark reminder of the inequalities that exist in our world and the pressing need for global cooperation to address them. This country, 
while at the bottom of this list, is not devoid of hope or potential. Our journey through the top 10 poorest countries gives us much to think about. It paints a stark picture of the world we live in, where wealth is not equally distributed, and millions live in conditions far removed from the comfort and security many of us take for granted. These nations, each with its unique struggles and stories, are a potent reminder of the global issue of wealth distribution and poverty. They serve to highlight the vast disparities that exist between different parts of our world, casting a harsh light on the economic inequalities that persist in our global society. But it's not all doom and gloom. In spite of the challenges, there are sparks of resilience and hope. From innovative grassroots initiatives to international aid efforts, there are countless endeavors aimed at alleviating poverty and fostering development. These efforts are proof that change is possible, and that with unity, compassion, and a shared commitment to equality, we can make a difference. As we've traversed through these countries, we've seen how poverty is not just about lack of money, it's about lack of access to healthcare, education, and opportunities. It's about structures and systems that perpetuate inequality. It's a complex issue that calls for holistic solutions. So what can we do? Well, it starts with awareness. By understanding the realities of poverty, we become better equipped to contribute to its eradication. Whether it's supporting charities, advocating for fair trade, or simply educating ourselves and others, every action counts. In closing, let's remember the main points we've covered today. We've journeyed through the 10 poorest countries in the world, explored the multifaceted nature of poverty, and highlighted the importance of collective action. Remember, poverty is not a destiny, it's a condition, and conditions can change. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.